Hello everyone. Oh. Ow. I just stubbed my toe on that. Oh my gosh, that box is not normally there. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Becca and today's another fun vlog. We have just finished up sewing this coat. So I'm wearing it. Oh my gosh, I plan on wearing it until it's like hot outside because I need to like live it up in this coat. Um, today I'm wearing also a red lip because why the heck not? I love wearing a red lip with like my bangs. I just feel very um, fun. I don't know. I didn't get to talk about it in my last video how I got a haircut. So let me set you down. Let's get my Brita, my awesome um, little tripod here. Okay, so basically I trimmed my hair. Well, I didn't do it. I went and had it done. Um, and she cut off, I think, around two inches. And then, because it was like to here and now it's up here. So I think that's around two inches. And then we made some wispy bangs. These bangs are significantly thinner than my old bangs. And it feels a little weird. Like I'm getting used to not having like mega thick bangs because my bangs were like a handful of hair. And now this is like, it's very wispy. And that's much more like the style right now. So I'm trying to like live in that and embrace that. Uh, so anyway, that's that. I'm just wearing this uh, striped shirt and stripes usually don't go very well on YouTube. Sorry, I don't know if that's like looking weird on your screen. And then I'm wearing my jeans from Emo Jean and Willie. These are the Catherine jeans. And I was thinking about buying another pair of jeans from them but maybe with uh, a little bit less of a wide leg uh, but and black denim. I don't know, we'll have to see. That's sort of what I'm thinking because I love black jeans, but it is hard to find black jeans that don't like fade over time into this like not very cute color. So we'll have to see. And my only black jeans I have right now are skinny jeans and I'm going to be bringing them to the thrift store because I don't want them anymore. I actually have a box that I'm filling for thrift store stuff, like a little spring cleaning moment. So anyway, this weekend I had some fun. So um, let me turn the camera around. I made these for some friends who are having babies. Uh, this middle one is mine because she's a little wonky. It was my first one I made, but I honestly think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, there's like little scraps all over them. Okay, these two are going off to fun homes. So yeah, I really love them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. This one is for someone who is not finding out the gender of their baby. So it's, you know, unsure. This one is going to the one that is having a boy. So I figured denim overalls, but also I really like the linen overalls more. Like these just feel better than the denim ones. I don't know. I might keep the denim ones and then make them well, no, because I'm wanting to go out like in right now and ship these out. No, okay, I'm not gonna ship them out today. Maybe I'll ship them out later so that maybe I can make a different pair of overalls and little hats for them. But anyway, so that's what I did this weekend and it was super fun. It kind of consumed me for a moment. Like I almost, like I dreamt about it last night. That's how much it consumed me. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I'm going out right now to run some errands. I need to drop something off to Daniel and um, Gosh, I had other things in it. Well, I wanted to go to the post office But I do need to get those things shipped out pretty quickly because I think my friends are pretty far along um, like in like the last Couple of weeks both of them. So anyway, let's see what else did I want to say? I think that's all I have to say for right now But I'm just gonna be taking you along on a couple of days. I don't really have a lot of big plans But it's gonna be fun. We're gonna see where the week takes us. Good evening everyone so today has been a full day I um, This afternoon I put a layer of polyurethane on my watering bench that I am refinishing and then I edited my last video, the jacket video for a while. And then now, oh, and then I took a gym class. I went to a gym class and it was so fun. I love taking classes at the gym. And now I am planning on sorting through my fabric scraps because I enjoyed this project so much. Um, I want to like, like I want to keep with the momentum and possibly make more little animals. I have a pattern for 
a mouse and a fawn and a cat. So definitely I'm gonna be making at least three more and I want them to have like fun clothes and stuff. And up to this point, I've only used scraps. So I wanna keep with that energy because I have a lot of fabric scraps, like a lot. Basically this entire duffel bag is full of scraps. So in order for this all to like make sense and to be able to actually find things, I need to um, organize it. And I decided I'm just going to iron everything and like split it by fabric type, I think, and then use my little Ziploc bags and like put them in the Ziploc bags because a lot of this stuff is like just small pieces like this. Like this is a shirt that I cut out and then decided not to make. I'm gonna iron and watch YouTube and you can join me and hang out. But actually, I think before I watch YouTube, I'm going to re-watch the video that I've already posted because it's so long and I need to cut stuff out. And I just really don't want to take the time to watch it because it's so long. <laughs> and if I don't want to, I don't know how I can expect other people to want to watch it. So I need to figure some stuff out with that, like edit it down a little bit. So I'm gonna do that while I iron. And then when I'm done, I'll watch some YouTube. There is something in my eye. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's the plan. I'm gonna pan you down so that you can enjoy the ironing fun, if that's even interesting. I think that watching people iron is super, well, like ironing in general is like super satisfying. So I'm sure that watching someone iron is also satisfying. Cause like, look at this, especially when it's linen. Like, look at this. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I really like that. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So this is like synthetics slash knits. This is linen. This is cotton, like Coulter's cotton and stuff like that. I have a few pieces that just did not make it into a bag. So this is just some like cuts from my cab, uh, not cabinets, uh, curtains in my office. And then this is like a piece of fur, which I actually want to use this on a bunny. I feel like a little fuzzy bunny would be really cute. It's like kind of hairy. Maybe I'll use this for the cat. I don't know. Anyway, super cute. And then this is actually like more uh, fabric pumpkins that I never sold. I don't know if I got like burnt out on making them and I just didn't want to make any more or if I actually forgot that I had more, but I probably have like 10 to 15 pumpkins in here that I haven't made yet. And then some like leftover fuzzy fabric. So that is, that is that. And then, oh, I have burlap here, which I don't have a bag big enough to fit this, but I've got like white and green burlap. And then these pieces of fabric were like big cuts and will probably go with the rest of my fabric. If not just next to the burlap, they're kind of season, they're kind of seasonal. And then I have a pile of clothes that I either want to alter or like use the fabric. And a lot of this I've been sitting on for like years and I haven't done anything with them. 
So I'm kind of feeling like I should get rid of a lot of this, but um, some of them, like the fabric is really cute and I don't want to, but I still hold on to it and do nothing with it. Classic sewist, am I right? <laughs> okay, so I am gonna put everything back in the duffel bag just because it's a nice place to hold it. And then I forgot to say, I have these quilts that I inherited. These are quilt tops that are not quilted. Oh, and this cute, oh, the seasonal fabric. Okay, that's gonna go in this other pile with the other seasonal fabrics. Anyway, they're all going back into the duffel bag. It's 11 o'clock, I'm going to bed, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. So, today is a fresh day. I curled my hair. Thought that I'd try it. I haven't curled my short hair yet, so I think it's really cute. Um, okay, my camera battery's about to die. I forgot to switch it out, but I just wanna show you a quick Whoa, OOTD. I am wearing this white linen dress with this little green cardigan, some Converse, and I'm using a tote as my purse as usual. And I, sorry, my camera died. <laughs> Got a new battery, I'm out now. And okay, I'm off to the post office because I need to drop off some packages. I had some people order merch, which is really exciting. So just off to go drop that off. I don't really have other things that I need to go into town for. So, oh no, you know what? Actually, I need to get some fabric because I don't have, um, I've been making those bunnies. <laughs> is this a bunny vlog? <laughs> Um, I need more fabric to make more of them because my mother-in-law asked for one and um, can't say no to the mother-in-law, you know? So I need to go out and get more fabric and I might as well just get more so that I have enough to like make them for other people too. I'm back home now. I didn't end up going to the fabric store just because I didn't want to. <laughs> And also, the registration on my car is expired, and I'm honestly nervous to keep driving around with it. Um, but it's really difficult to register my car not living in Arizona, but I want to keep my car registered there. And I think I need to call the DMV there to figure out how I, need, how I can do that. Um, anyway, so I need to take a photo for a campaign on my Instagram. And the photo has to take place in my closet because it's for, I don't know when that cut off, but anyway, I have to take a photo for a campaign and it's for this desk, which is so beautiful, but this room looks wild right now. So I need to clean it up a bit because it's photo time. <laughs> um, and the reason that this is taking place in my closet is because I don't have anywhere else to put a ship station but I wanted one and this desk company reached out to me as a standing desk company and I was so excited. So I was like, yes, let's work together. But we are in a closet and it looks like a closet. <laughs> anyway, I'm using the uh, camera that I'm recording with. So I'm going to do this real quick and then get back to you when I'm done. Okay, it's been many hours of computer work, but I edited a few videos and I'm uploading the jacket vlog that you've already seen onto my channel. It's a very long video and YouTube is taking a long time to like check it for copyright stuff. So hopefully it doesn't get like ruined because sometimes my videos will get ruined during like the upload or check stage and I have to re-upload them and uploading videos takes a really long time for me because of my internet. But anyway, we have a bit of a cardboard issue. Just due to the nature of my job, I get a lot of cardboard. We hold on to all of that cardboard because we wanted to recycle it, but then the recycling plant in Columbia got shut down and we don't really, we haven't really known where to take it. So we've just been storing it. And a couple weeks ago, I bought a burn barrel and this is our first time using it. Daniel is <laughs> doing the burn barrel thing. That's so crazy that the smoke is like encircling it. Do you see that? Do you see the smoke like going in a circle? That's so wild. That's the airflow. Feels nice and warm. So we're just gonna do that for the cardboard that we have right now while we figure out a recycling situation. But the, it's, it's honestly overwhelming how much cardboard there is. Like it needs to be a weekly, a weekly thing to go and dispose of cardboard. 
Like it's crazy. Uh, actually, some of it I think I might use in my garden, but there's just, it's an overwhelming amount of cardboard. When I say it's the size of a medium sized sedan car, wouldn't you say? Yeah, easily. Yeah, the size of a car of cardboard that we've just been storing. So anyway, we're gonna hang out out here. Hi everyone, hope that you're having a beautiful day. Well, it's the same day for you, different day for me. Anyway, I just got back from the grocery store and the gym. Uh, we are basically out of food, so I just went in to get some like, just a few things to hold us over till our next big grocery shop. I didn't look up any recipes prior to going, so I didn't have anything like planned as far as meals go. So I just went with some basics. So cereal, of course, we are big sugar cereal people. It's our, it's our character flaw for sure, but we love it. And also milk. <laughs> I got some sweet tea to have a little bit of variety in our drinks. I have like um, sparkling water and stuff as well that I've been going through slowly. Um, okay, tonight I think we're gonna have tacos. So I got that, I got some taco seasoning. I have some ground uh, turkey in the freezer that I'm just gonna use. Got some, what is this, pasta sauce ketchup we just ran out of our big ketchup peanut butter salsa for taco night and cheese for taco night a lot of people hate on pace <laughs> maybe it's embarrassing that i'm latina and i i eat this but i think it's really good <laughs> don't judge me okay for produce i got grapes little roma tomatoes for taco night I got a bell pepper, I don't know why. Maybe for taco night, but bell peppers don't really go in tacos. Maybe they do, I don't know. I got this tortellini, which is so good, and a lime taco night, of course. And I got a variety of frozen pizza. And this is for Dan on nights that I don't wanna cook and I wanna eat leftovers or whatever. It just like is a guaranteed meal. I got some fun ones. This one I really love, I love freshetta. This is an experiment. DiGiorno crispy pan, I don't know. I feel like Dan's not gonna like it. Or maybe he will, I don't know, we'll have to see. Okay, that is the haul. I have a meeting right now, so I'm gonna do that, and then we will see what the rest of the day brings us. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bones I'm remembering the words you told me Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong 
Good afternoon. So today was an extremely productive day. Like my feet hurt. I've been on my feet all day cleaning and organizing and I feel like the spring energy is just lighting me up. So um, I cleaned the garage. Like we've had the, the cardboard situation which I talked about yesterday. So I finished burning all the cardboard and just like swept up and organized and cleaned the garage. And now everything that's left to be done is like Daniel's side of things. Like I don't know what he wants to do with like all the gas tanks and chainsaws and all of that. Um, and then after that, I did some stuff with my plant channel. I did a ton of planting for my garden, like up potting some tomatoes. Just so many. I have 16 tomato plants and I'm probably gonna have to give them to people if I have anybody around me who wants them because I truly have so many. Um, I cleaned the kitchen as you saw and then off camera, I washed these grapes and set them out because I find like with certain foods, I need it to be like presented to me like this so that I actually see and eat it. And like Daniel is that way too. So I have it out right now cause I'm snacking but I'll probably pop this in the fridge. And I'm so excited because tonight we're having tacos and we used to do taco night like all the time when I was growing up but I have never done a taco night as an adult woman with my own house and kitchen and food and everything. So I'm really excited to do that. Um, but I am gonna have to go take a shower because I've been outside like all day working. And yeah, I haven't like done anything since I, I haven't like taken a shower since I went to the gym this morning, but super exciting. I checked the mail and I got a box from pros and I've actually been getting several boxes from pros over the last couple of days because it's not a sponsorship, but they did gift me pretty much their whole line of products. And I am absolutely so happy because I've been using pros for like since 2020, I think I did. I actually did a video on my channel of when I started using it, um, just like showing what, what it's all like and how I like what I think of it basically like an unsponsored review. And this is sort of a follow up, but I might do like an entire hair video. That's like more of a follow up, I think. But anyway, I get a lot of compliments on my hair and like how healthy and shiny it is. And then also every time I've gone to the hairdresser like to get my hair cut they always talk about how healthy it is which is like the greatest feeling ever because i take a lot of pride in my hair and i really feel like my pros products help me so much so i've been getting the shampoo and conditioner and the pre-shampoo mask uh, for a while now and i have their dry shampoo which is amazing it's like a powder dry shampoo so it's not like a, an aerosol spray situation um, and i really like it like if i'm ever having a day where my hair is like not exactly gonna be good for the next day, but maybe could be salvaged if I was proactive. So I'll take the like powder dry shampoo and just like put it on my hair and not like pulse it in. What is that called when you like mix it in your hair? I don't mix it in my hair. I just like spray it and then just kind of like pat it in and then I'll sleep. And then by morning, like all of my hair oils have absorbed the powder and my hair looks great. It's like second day hair all the time. You know what I mean? Like first day hair, it's not like super silky and shiny. It's like second or third day hair where it's a little, it has a little bit more grit, but it doesn't look oily. Anyway, I love it. And I just got their hair supplements, which I didn't know that they did this. It's called Root Source. They have a scalp balance and a super growth. So I'm really excited. And these are glass bottles too. Super fun. Hmm. I'm excited to try these out and see what that does for me with like the growth of my hair and everything. But anyway, I want to show you guys. Um, I want to show you guys the rest of the products that I got. But look how cool this is. You do like a, a quiz online to tell them, you know, your hair, your routine, your environment. And they take that information and like make a custom formula. It's amazing. I've absolutely loved it. Let's go upstairs and look at the rest of the products that they have sent me. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. So I have the pre-shampoo mask for the scalp. There's a pre-shampoo mask for the roots. Then of course the shampoo and conditioner. Amazing, you can like get different scents every time. So you're still getting the same formula, but like a different scent. Oh, they also sent me this really beautiful monogrammed brush. So that's really beautiful. Um, let me show you the, uh, the what's it called? Dry shampoo. So you can see my name is on all the products and <laughs> kind of sounded like a tooth, but 
yeah, that's that. I really love it. I'm trying to think if there's any other products. Oh, also a leave-in conditioner. I haven't tried the leave-in conditioner or the lengths pre-shampoo mask. I've done the scalp pre-shampoo mask and it really helps my hair last longer between washes. It's just amazing. So anyway, I'm going to take a shower. I just really wanted to show you guys this stuff. If you're interested in trying out pros, I have an affiliate link, but this is not a sponsorship. Again, I'm not, I'm not getting paid to share this and I also buy the products with my own money. So, you know, if you are interested, you can check it out. I do highly suggest it and I am going to do the pre- uh, the pre-shampoo mask on my scalp and roots today and see what I think. I'm super excited and uh, I'll see you after my shower. All right, it's taco night. Woohoo, taco night. <laughs> okay, as I said, I've never done this before um, on my own. So, Dan, you have to be careful. Wait, why are you getting that many? One, two, three, four, five. Anyway, so we've got the taco shells. I got the stand-up taco shells. They have a hint of lime. Yeah, they do. It was pretty good. I broke one and ate it. Here we go. Okay. And we got some turkey, some ground turkey with some taco seasoning, some tomatoes, some lettuce. Tomato, tomato. And like for me, refried beans. Daniel doesn't like refried beans, which is a crime against... Oops. Me. I'll it's a, it's a hate meat. crime. And then we've got our pace. Okay, I have to voice over this part because I forgot to turn on my mic. So here's my plate. I am eating with my tacos some of these chips right here. These chili lime rolled tortilla chips. They're like Takis, but better. They're the Trader Joe's version. I love them so much. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I buy like nine bags because there isn't a Trader Joe's near me. So definitely check them out if you haven't. And Daniel wanted to show you his plate of tacos. He had already eaten, I think, two of them at this point. So as you can see, his is just a blob and mine has a really nice cross section. Mine looks like an artisanal taco and Daniel's looks like a mess. It was honestly stressful watching him do this. So I'm glad that's done, but he wanted everyone to know that he was going to call it a man sandwich, but felt like that was inappropriate. So he didn't say that, but he told me that. And now I'm telling you. So that's that's how Taco Night went. It was super fun. We watched Big Bang Theory and yeah. I don't know for how long of that video my mic was not on. I think the entire part of me cooking and showing Taco Night. So anyway, hope that you enjoyed seeing Taco Night. I'm sure that I've done a voiceover to fix that. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna end it here and enjoy my dinner. So I'll see you later. Bye.